hello friends welcome back to my channel uh, in this video what we will do is uh, we'll learn how to onboard uh, the data that means how to you know upload the data upload the csv file okay uh, fake csv file and uh, you know search the data out of it uh, what are the parameters that we will be following and how do you uh, write queries uh, i mean how do you uh, add the commands uh, to search the data and we will also see how to create nice beautiful dashboard uh, using all these uh, you know data and the commands that we will be using all right so let's start friends all right so uh, this is the uh, home page of splunk so what we do first is we will uh, try and add the data to it add data uh, that is actually you can uh, you know just click on this add data and you can upload uh, the file okay, here you can uh, select the file actually and upload a csv file okay so here we are uploading the csv fake data dot csv file all right so we upload this file and uh, okay now in the uh, you know uh, source type okay we have it uh, we will not give any uh, update i mean we don't change anything out here we will leave it as it is now next you uh, click on next and then now you go to uh, settings right we can change that host field value as test okay so since this is a test file that we are doing now so we can just give it as a test and leave all other options as it is as default and you click on next then okay you will see this and you can search the data okay so oh, we are searching the data now you start searching the data now you can uh, see all the data uh, using our uh, this is what we have uploaded uh, source equal to fake data uh, dot csv host equal to test source type equal to csv file okay this is the uh, you know file which we have uploaded and you can see the day you can see this file searching the data now uh, what are the splunk default fields we have you can see here right these are the uh, default fields of splunk host source source type this is actually one of the interview questions what are the uh, you know um, splunk default fields okay so you can say host source source type now you can view default any event by clicking on that uh, uh, you know the uh, the mark which is given here okay so where, where you have all the fields okay i time events etc right so this is just for your information you can uh, you know search the data you can uh, use this uh, you know host you have source source type all these are the event actions of Splunk okay so apart from this you also have time and default and you can see here right so you can have an app name you can create an app email IP address a status you will have so you will have a timestamp also a timestamp as well for this particular field okay so all these details will be pulling out uh, as per the data which we will be giving you can see the status also of the particular data and these are the other uh, inter interesting fields of Splunk. All right, you have status, st status to Splunk server, timestamp, timestamp in something. You will be giving the time uh, as per your requirement, right? So that is a timestamp. And you see, uh, uh, you know, whenever you can check uh, every component out here, uh, you know, just for your understanding, you can check if you see here two values, forty-eight percent, ninety-five uh, number of events which are which are showing here okay if you look at this particular one uh, unable to establish connection you have you know uh, all these are uh, the other fields which are given okay now uh, we'll try and uh, you know write some uh, command here uh, to get uh, the uh, values in the dashboard all right so you can give table okay table uh, you you are giving that particular app name right so a table app underscore that email app underscore name email ip address status message okay so we are, we are trying this command now to search the data okay now click on search you see a nice beautiful table for us okay you have all the details given in the nice in this uh, uh, table you have uh, success uh, you, you know whatever the fields you've got uh, success value you can see and some fields uh, you know it could not find out the value of it so it is showing you as an error unable to establish connection you know uh, and there are a couple of fields which which are uh, not able to establish the connection okay now 
uh, we can see a nice beautiful table here and after that now click on visualization tab okay now uh, we will click on visualization tab here we do not see any data in visualizations okay so let me uh, just show you that as well so once we click on visualizations you don't see any data out here okay now what we do is uh, from the data we have in search bar right compare number of errors to uh, number of success okay so since we don't see anything here so what we do is now we uh, what we do is from the data we have in search bar okay, compare number of errors to the number of successful events okay to do that what we do is uh, splunk starts command okay so the starts command is here uh, to do that we will we will be using this particular command so we write that okay in the we, we have already given table right before that we will try and uh, write that so uh, stats can stats count by stats after writing this we delete all uh, you know like from table uh, you will have a value before right we will delete all that and you give this message now choose a pie chart okay so you need to uh, select a pie chart here now click on the count chart you can select you will have a success and you have a success percentage a rate of success and uh, and you have success uh, you know error percentage everything you can see here in this pie chart okay now let's create a dashboard click on save as okay you need to click on save as dashboard panel okay window gets open so th th this window you know you need to uh, give dashboard title app dashboards select shade app okay and uh, you know panel type will give success and errors click on save all right now create another visualization to add to our dashboard okay to do that what we do now let's say we need a simple table that shows a running uh, list all error messages sorted by time to do that we delete you know we will go to that particular uh, you know uh, query which we are writing we go to we delete starts okay uh, count by status okay once deleted now we type status equal to error okay then click on search okay now notice 982 events out of almost 2000 because half of these events are errors okay you will see it now when we uh, you will just click on search bar when you write this and you will see 982 events out of almost 2000 events okay so that is that is because of the uh, new uh, search query which we have which we have written in this particular field okay now status message We have to wait uh, for a couple of minutes okay now create a simple table again okay so type table status message okay we have typed a table status message the table is created now add time to this table add time to this table okay so uh, table underscore time status message now add to this our dashboard go to save as dashboard panel existing dashboard you create exist dashboard and give panel title give list error and you can close that now again create two visualizations that each show single value okay delete uh, this uh, you know from table you have query written right time uh, table time status message okay and uh, type state that after you delete that you need to type status count by status okay count by status now click on pie chart and uh, click on single value now type a table count okay single value and after that you need to type a table count now if you see initially we see error after typing table count we see 982 right now choose a color okay we need to choose a color 
choose a color after you uh, type a table count this is what i was talking about 982 we'll see that right now it's time for us to choose a color yeah now add uh, this to the existing panel okay change the status to success in search bar okay now you see green color you know 1018 1018 in fact okay you will you will uh, see that also number i was talking about uh, when you add this for the for the new dashboard you will see the number which is different than uh, for this particular search here we have 982 now it is 1118 1018 i said okay now save this as well to the dashboard we have done that finally now view the dashboard you can see uh, you know 982 rows and 1000 uh, you will see once you uh, save this dashboard okay so this is where it is and you can arrange it and you can actually uh, assemble it uh, the way you want okay it is uh, up to you how do you want it so let me try doing it uh, again so so that it will look it will give you a nice uh, look okay so there you go this is how you can arrange as per your requirement okay so yes okay this is the uh, wonderful dashboard which we have created using all this data using the uh, queries of uh, 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 you know splunk commands and you can edit also you know, if you are if you need to do any changes you can uh, do that as well this gives